煉獄さん A few weeks ago, I received the SMS confirming my place in the honors program for 2024. And I should be happy, I should be excited, but academically, 2023 had hands. And just from watching how final year affected my friends and the sheer and utter horror they went through, I just know that 2024 was about to be much worse. And before you say I'm sincere, you're just being negative. I asked them what they thought of it and this is what they had to say. Actual science on his year. Um, when I started in first year, someone in second year told me, I asked someone in second year, does it get better? And they said, yeah, well, the work doesn't get better, but you do. So as you go from year to year, you get stronger, you get better at balancing your life and understanding what you should and should not be doing. Fourth year was the year where I, I personally felt like that was not the case. <laughs> it's, that was by far the hardest academic year I had at UCT. And um, it's a lot. It's a lot. You are strong enough to get through it, but it's by far, it's very hard to get through it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just, I, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's, it's very hard to get through it and um, it's painful. All the best. My honors year uh, brought to me a lot of discomfort, uh, a lot of doubt, a lot of late nights, um, and I found myself questioning my compatibility with the profession and kind of how that might affect my future. Um, and I guess I'm grateful that I managed to find the clarity eventually. Honours was horrific. You work so hard for zero exemptions. Now, don't get me wrong. I am grateful for the opportunity, but the reality of what lies ahead has sunk in and well, it's extremely overwhelming. It is quarter to seven in the morning. Uh, AM and that is 6.45 for those of you who didn't register how early that is. Anyway, I'm on campus. Now that I'm here and like there's no one here, I'm just thinking to myself like this is what I was stressed about not getting into. Even when I got the required marks for honors, I was sitting there being like maybe I should study for the entrance exam just in case I didn't get in. This is what I wanted. Like being here, I'm like this is what I was dying to get into the whole of last year. No man. No man, this ain't it. <laughs> I literally was like, I, can't this I cannot do this again. But I have to. At least I have a degree though. That's nice. I have a degree. No longer my trick my trick certificate is no longer my highest, you know, qualification, which is very nice. It is a nice flex to have. Um especially after all the nonsense I got through. I went through. Yesterday I went to the student advisor and I was just chatting to her about life and I wanted advice about whether I should take another retake a course or not. We were just chatting. She's really sweet. And um, I nearly cried. And I was like, I, you know, because I registered, I was like, hmm, you are actually pretty traumatized over this degree. I was literally just talking about the trajectory and now there are tears in my eyes. And my friend was on, I was on the phone with my friend for two hours and he was just helping me tackle this course um, and what to do. Because of course it's notorious. Last year, 90 people took it and 40 people failed. And then when they were saying that in class, insert clip here, if I have the clip, he was the lecturer was pretty shocked. He was like, 50% is really bad. We were, asked, we were asked to have a sub and we did. I'm not sure whether there will be a sub. Even if we probably saying that there won't be one, then we might be forced to have one. Because it's the last, it's one of your last subjects, so we have to get you out of the university. So. Uh, we have to do everything possible. But given that, I mean, that's, that's almost ridiculous. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that clip quite accurately summarizes Axi. Anyway, back to the story. Just to recenter you, I'm currently sitting inside the student support advisor's office and we're just having a chat. And so I was just telling her about my career, opened up my transcript over the years, showed her everything. Um, and just through like talking about everything that I went through, like every single year, I could feel like 
don't like the fact that every time I try to talk about this, <laughs> they get, I get tears in my eyes. I really am traumatized. I really am traumatized. Let's try this for a third time. Tears go back. And so I was just explaining, I was like, this is how my first year went, this is how my second year went, and I was just noting some key points. Most of them were about traumatic experiences. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you know me, I will say all of those things with a smile on my face because if I don't laugh, I will cry. And then all of a sudden I'm feeling like this, this, this lump in my throat, this, the, the tears burning my ass. And I was like, listen, say no. Cause I wasn't even talking about anything that was like, traumatic okay maybe i was but i wasn't talking about something that happened to me that was earth shattering i was just talking about like how my university career has gone and i was just standing there fighting back tears and i was like wow guys wow this was actually hell and horror i'm not even gonna lie academic hell and horror the whole way through there was not one season where everything was fine i think when i look back I was like, well, you know, first year was hell and horror, but second year was even worse. And then I get to third year and I'm like, okay, second year is the hardest year of an actuary at UCT. I can't speak for the rest of the universities. But you know what? Third year was pretty horrific too. <laughs> it is not even 8 a.m. I'm sitting in the car crying. Anyway, um can't stand these people <laughs> can't cannot stand these people and the funny thing is people are starting to go to class now so i'm gonna be sitting here talking to myself tears streaming down my face but it's fine um apparently i'm i'm humanity's strongest fighter <laughs> i don't know who gave me that role but i need them to take it back i'm not levi ackerman please i don't want to be here I don't want to be here. I and everyone's like, listen, there, it's character development. My character is developed enough. <sighs> 2024. Please, 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 please. Do not take me for a joke. Because the emotional stability is not looking cute, and I don't want to do something <laughs> that might get me ostracized from society so yeah that's that's what i'm gonna sign off for i need to go do this tut um why do i yeah anyway i hope you guys have are having a good day regardless i mean yeah anyway bye i'm gonna go now before i start crying again because i can i can feel them coming back you must be like girl it's day two what do you have to cry about first of all excuse you there is always something to cry about when you are studying an academically demanding degree that you willingly chose for yourself. Yes, it's day two. Yes, I haven't even collected my back-breaking stack of notes yet. But it's more so the fact that I've already gone through so much. And now, according to my friends, this is the final boss of the level I'm on. Everything I've been fighting so far has been medium to easy mode. It gets worse. You have got to be joking. Oh look, people are having fun on campus. I wonder what that feels like. I think I'm finally settling into the routine of wake up, gym, shower, come to campus. In the first week I was really tired. By 3 p.m., 2 p.m. I was exhausted. I was falling asleep in class, even if I slept enough. But I think, yeah, I'm definitely a morning gym person. It's going really nicely. I'm feeling really motivated. I've gone every day this week, apart from Tuesday, because Tuesday is my rest day. But yeah, I mean, I got a class at three, I'm meeting my project partners and as well just before that. So that's pretty much all I'm doing for the day. I'm going to work on my my um, chat questions. I have so many. Oh my goodness. It's week two and we're already on like the fourth set of questions. And that may seem like nothing, but usually it's like a set of questions a week. So technically it's the fifth actually. Yeah. But anyway. I'm going to do my TUD questions for the next two hours, go to meet my project partners, go to class, then I'm tutoring a kid later, and then that's me for the week. It's been a good week, actually. I think I'm settling really nicely into uni again. I'm not feeling frantic or frenzied, so yeah. In case you're wondering why I said it was a good week when I started it off crying my eyes out in my car before 8am on a Tuesday morning, that was the last time I cried, and honestly, I think that's a win. 
And other than us covering content faster than Usain Bolt, and for absolutely no reason, I'm okay now. I'm feeling weirdly optimistic suddenly. Like, yes, I can do it. I can sleep enough, go to the gym, get abs, maintain those abs, get more than 40% on all my tests, be an active member of society, post on this channel more than once a year. Carpe diem, carpe noctem. Part of me knows that it's probably just delusion or me finally losing what's left of my mental faculties, but we're not going to talk about that. So I just got to tennis coaching. Uh, I'm a bit early, but when I got here, the kids, because they're out at break now, were shouting, hi, coach Moo, hi, coach Moo. And I was like, ah, so cute. Anyway, um, I'm also half in my casual clothes, because after the gym, I showered and stuff, and got dressed, okay, and got dressed. <laughs> but then I was like, I don't have the effort to change to back into sporty things um, later. So I'm wearing them underneath and I'm wearing flip flops because it's hot. But anyway, then I'm gonna eat my food, do my one sum, and then I guess we're gonna start the lesson. I need to bring my tripod tomorrow. I keep forgetting. Time went on, it decreased to, you know, uh, below 20%. But now we are seeing it increase. That will, that, that will come through the school will actually stop the illicit industry. So I just got back to campus. I am half an hour behind schedule, but that just might mean that my schedule needs adjusting and not that I need to move faster. I am still trying to figure out what works best for me in terms of my day-to-day -day routine. So we'll see over the upcoming weeks how that goes. I Today, the plan of the day, so gym was leg day. Now I've got to do my tutorial. I've got three hours. I might actually just work outside. It's quite nice here. There's no wind. It's a nice temperature. So I might. this will be my desk for the day. And that's what I have for today. And yeah, I guess I'll see you later. After that, I went down to the labs to practice some Excel before my test that I had that evening. So help me, I'm gonna start doing backflips in the labs because why am I getting a value error? <laughs> I copied and pasted the memo's equation and I'm still getting a value error, so um... Yeah... Anyway... <clears throat> Yeah. So I've come to the conclusion that it's just straight sorcery that's going on here because I this is the memo. I have copied the memo. Copy. I'm also I actually want to cut. Let's cut it. Okay? Enter. There's nothing there, right? I'm gonna put exactly the same thing that I just cut back. Value error. So clearly there is some witchcraft happening and I'm not even gonna bother trying to figure it out because how is it that I can copy and paste the same thing and get a wrong answer. Yeah, I know. So I had a little bit of break, so I'm gonna pick a book to read for my dad's shelf and see what he got. This one looks like a good read. It's called Real Estate Valuation Theory, a Critical Appraisal by Professor Manya M. Moya. That is my father. Let's begin. <clears throat> Preface. It has been over a century since Alfred Marshall and others created a basis for standard real estate valuation theory. By successfully The amount of times my dad's colleagues have seen me doing dodgy things in this faculty office is uncountable. Just last week, someone came in looking for him to sign off on some documents, and what was I doing? Twirling around in his chair and giggling like a fool. Anyway, this is me pretending to be working after nearly being caught fooling around again. 
I low-key was honestly just hanging around here for the hopes of snagging some food and look at that, wish granted. After absolutely stuffing my face, I headed over to the primary school that I coach at and this is Miss Teenager Universe South Africa. We're currently filming one of her videos for her pageant that's coming up. In fact, she's in Bali as we speak. The life of an AXI student is weird. Because our degree has such well-defined tiers of progression, we tend to live half in the now and half in the future. What's the next exemption I'm going to get? Which is the next board exam I'm going to write? How long until I qualify? It's very hard to stay in the moment. You look so far ahead into the future that you can't even grasp the now. So that's why I think it's very important to focus on what you're doing right now. I'm at UCT on a beautiful campus in a beautiful city. I'm graduating next week. I'm healthy. I can move my body. You'll get there, even if it doesn't feel like it. Don't rush the journey. We think that the future is going to be much greater than what we have now. And that is completely wrong because life doesn't come at you, it comes from you. And I'll do my best to remember that, no matter how hard it becomes. Yeah, so I just got my test back. Um, <laughs> It honestly is quite abysmal. Like this is this might just be the lowest mark I have seen in my life. Like <laughs> I'm half a mind to throw you in the bin. I have half a mind to throw you in the bin, actually. But anyway, I'm graduating a week from now. I don't know how, considering things like this happen, but um yeah, at least there's something to look forward to. Everyone likes an underdog, don't they? Just to give you guys a little sneak peek. <laughs> oh, I got two marks over there. You know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not. I, I'm, I don't wanna have a bad day, so I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk out of UCT. Maybe if I keep walking long enough, I will find the will to continue. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, y'all still here? I'm literally just gonna keep walking. Still walking. Might as well go rewatch one of my other videos if you're still here. I'm straight up gonna keep walking. Searching for the will to continue. 